Hello again. Today we are going to talk about and demonstrate setting alerts on the project site. Currently I am logged into project web app as an administrator and we're going to start this by navigating to the project center. Click on the project center tile and there's project center. What I'm going to do is navigate to a specific project site for my software development plan. I'm going to click on uh, the software development plan. We'll go right into project drill down with it. And I'm going to select project site from the left hand navigation pane. And here we are in basic project site for the software development plan. What I'm going to do is we're going to work on the alerts. Uh, specifically, we're going to talk about the alerts for documents, risks and issues. We're not going to set them for all three. Uh, the alerts for risks and issues are identical. Uh, therefore, we'll work on just the risks. Let's talk about documents first. We'll go ahead and click on the document library. Uh, what I want to do is set a, a risk at the library level. You can't set them at the item level, but we can set them at the library. I'll go ahead and click on the library ribbon. You'll note there's a little ribbon button here. Looks like the little Liberty Bell. I can click and expose the submenu. And what I can do is uh, a couple options. I can manage the alerts. Uh, manage the alerts would allow me to, to uh, interact with all the alerts in the entire library for me. Otherwise, I can select this, set an alert on this library, which is what I'll select. Um, I can specify a title. We'll leave it as documents. I can send the alerts to specify who are going to be the recipients. Uh, I'm currently logged in as Garth. Garth is going to be the only person receiving them. We'll send the alerts by email in this case. If text messaging were configured, you could get that as well. Uh, when, under what conditions do we want them sent? I want them sent under all changes, whether a document's added, deleted, changed. Uh, when? What types of changes? Well, when anything changes in this particular case, and you can see there can be other types of, of incremental changes here. Uh, someone else changes a document, someone else changes one created by me, someone else changes one last modified by me. And then when do you want to be alerted? Immediately, daily summary, weekly summary. Well, I'm the PM, I wanna keep track of things very closely. So I'm gonna get a, a immediate notification. Let's go ahead and click okay. When you set the alert, you should get a notification that the alert was set successfully. Should come pretty quick. Therefore, we're gonna look at the inbox here and there it is, software development plan. The alert documents has successfully been created and it specifies that's the name of the project site. You will receive them according to the method, time, and criteria selected when the alert was created. If you wanna make a change, click on this link. It'll bring you right back to that screen you were just on. Currently have one document in the document library. Let's just make a real simple change to it. We'll go ahead and click and expose the submenu and then we're gonna do as just a simple rename here. I'm going to change the title to dash revised. And go ahead and select save. Now, it did say immediate receipt, uh, receive of the, of the alerts. But you know, it might not be immediate. It may be within a minute, maybe two minutes. But uh, you know, again, suffice to say, you're going to receive it pretty quickly. Um, but it just might not be within a few seconds. Therefore, we're going to just give this a couple seconds. If we don't see it, then we're going to navigate back to the issues area and start working on the alerts for the issues. And we're going to demonstrate a couple of types there. All right, uh, let's go ahead to the issues list. Uh, or rather, let's talk about risks. In the risk list, a couple of options here. We can set risks, alerts on the item or the library. Let's set one on the item first. Click on the ellipsis next to software and media keys not available. From the sub, I can select alert me. Note this, it says risks, and then it has the title of the uh, risk item. Software and media keys not available, right? So confirming again, it's on the item this particular time. The recipient's gonna be Garth. Uh, the delivery is gonna be email. I want to be alerted when any change takes place to this risk. And again, you're, you're noticing that there's options. You can specify, um, rather than any change, other types of changes to the risk. Um, again, I'm going to stick with anything. When do I want to get the notification? Again, I'm going to select immediately. And click OK. And again, I'm just specifying right now the alert. Again, I should get the confirmation. Let's go back to my email. And there you go. There's the, the change for the document. Projectcharter.x, that was in the software development project site that we've been working with all along. What changed? Title, it was Project Charter. We changed it to Project Charter Revised. A little notation at the side here saying it was edited. 
there you go. So that's one confirmed alert specified and then confirmed that uh, it was triggered based on the change that I wanted it to show up for. Uh, there's the confirmation for the other alert that I just sent. Alert software media keys not available. Successfully added to this project site for software development plan. Again, the method timing criteria selected uh, when the alert was created is how I'm going to receive these alerts. And again, I can change it by clicking on that item. Let's go back to my project site. I'm going to change something on this alert. Let's edit, uh, not the alert, uh, excuse me, the risk. Category one, let's make it a category two. Very simple change. Click save. Okay, I'm not uh, going to go check it just yet. We'll, we'll give it a minute here. And what I'm going to do is set another alert on the list level. Set it exactly the same way you did it on the document list. Set alert on this list. Again, the name is going to default to the name of the list in this case called risks. Recipients, Garth. Delivery method is going to be email. I'm going to leave the settings the same. All changes in this case, any change to the risk at all. Send under what conditions, what types of changes, well, any changes. And again, you see the other options. Someone else changes it. Someone else changes one created by me or modified by me or else oh, somebody changes an item that appears in the following view and you have different views to select from. Let's go ahead and leave as anything and send the notification immediately and click OK. I'm expecting now a couple of items to show up in my inbox. The first one should be the alert that the software media and keys not available risk has been changed in this case and there it is has been changed. What's changed? Well, there is all the metadata it's going to show for the risk. And if I look here at category, note that it changed from a category of one to category two, notation of edited, and all the other items. If anything else changed here as well, I would see that they have been changed. Let's exit out of that. There is the confirmation of the alert risks at the library levels been set for, again, the software development plan project site. I'm going to receive the alerts according to, again, the method timing criteria selected when created. And again, clicking on this list will bring me to that page where I can change the settings. Let's go back to the site one more time. Uh, let's make a, again, a very simple change to the third risk. Team, notes, test plans, need additional scenarios. Very simple change. Let's make it a category three. Save. Therefore, we changed a risk that we didn't have a specific alert on. We just changed uh, any, any risk in there. But since we set a risk at the list level, we should still get a notification for that change. And again, you know, being a project manager on the project, knowing how risks can be very detrimental to your project, you will probably want to set you know, list level alerts on your projects in certain situations, especially in risks. You know, risks can turn into issues uh, and dramatically affect your projects. There we go. Let's open that one up. Team notes, test plans need additional. Has been changed. There's all the metadata for it. And if we look, what's changed? Changed from a category two to a category three. Notes that it was edited. Because I had other uh, information in there, it's noticing, uh, noting that these other items were changed as well, in this particular case. So there's a, a little demonstration as to how to utilize the alerts within the project sites. Great functionality. Consider using it. It is uh, something that's set in Project Online by default. Great features and functionality. Hope you learned something useful today. Thanks for attending. Goodbye.